All new at 530 now, local elections officials say somebody's forging signatures trying to change Florida's gambling laws. One of the victims happens to be the supervisor of elections in Marion County. The first red flag noticed in Lake County, where News 6's Brian Didlake says thousands of petitions may have been forged. A Lake County's supervisor of elections says that thousands of people in and around the county may have received this letter. It's the second notification that a person's signature may have been forged. Out of the nearly 20,000 gambling petitions, the Lake County Supervisor Election Office rejected 12,000. It's so unfortunate that people will, will resort to these measures. Alan Hayes, the supervisor of elections for Lake County, says his office is handing over 3,000 gambling petitions to the state's attorney's office for what may be fraudulent signatures. Hayes says other petitions that were rejected may have an incorrect address or no record of the person's voter registration. All It looks like it may have been from the same pen, many of them done by the same hand, and it's an inordinate number of them. Uh, you know, typically if, if five or 10% are rejected, you wouldn't think anything of it, but this is a very large number. The petition 21-16, a measure that will allow voters to amend the state constitution to convert card rooms into full casinos. It's backed by Florida voters in charge. We reached out to them for comment, but have not heard back. In Marion County, the supervisor of elections says he's seeing the same fraudulent petitions. A petition was submitted with my name and purported uh, signature. Wilcox says his county is sending around 900 petitions for evidence. He warns a person could face felony charges for sending petitions with forged signatures. The 5th Judicial Circuit District of the state's attorney's office confirming they received complaints from all the counties they serve. As the investigation gets underway, Wilcox says he'll be there to help enforce the law. And you know, if they need a, a witness from a voter, here I am. Hay says there is no one way one person can avoid having their signature forged, which is why he is asking state Congress. If the legislature would give us the protection of the voters record, their information, make it private, don't make it available to the public. Hayes says Florida Supervisors of Elections Association will be at the state capitol next week urging lawmakers to implement more safeguards for voters. If you haven't received a notification that a fraudulent petition has been filed in your name, officials say you are safe. But Hayes says if anyone wants to check, to contact your local election office. In Tavares, Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.